Well, boys, today is tomorrow, and I like how if any of us regular folks mismanaged funds, we would immediately go to jail, all right? Not even a trial, all right? Everyone would put the finger on you. Your boss would immediately fire you. But as soon as an executive <laughs> at Bungie decides, maybe I should buy $2 million worth of cars while my whole company is sinking into the ground, he just gets a little slap on the wrist. Don't do that again, bad boy. While well, everyone at Bungie is starting to get laid off, even after shipping one of the greatest DLCs financially and even like review wise for the company and for Destiny 2, for some reason they just couldn't make enough money. I wonder why. Definitely not, you know, the CEO Pete buying almost $2 million worth of ancient cars so boys meet pete parson uh bungie's ceo i'm sure everyone loves themselves some pete parson whenever it comes to a <laughs> burning money because that's all bungie has done ever since they left xbox right they went independent about them near collapse trying to do destiny one got bought out by sony all right they did destiny two destiny two did numbers they went independent again Somehow, you know, Sony just let them slip out of their fingers. <laughs> and then they bout them near crashed and burned again because whenever they were independent again, they were almost about to go bankrupt. But then out of nowhere, Sony came out of the woodworks again with another $3 billion buyout for Bungie. At that point, you might as well have just kept them the first time, Sony. <laughs> What's the point of letting them go? They were just going to come crawling right back like, hey, we're burning through money. And over the past two years, they've been making a DLC, obviously, for Destiny. And a couple of the DLCs weren't really hitting it right because, you know, people were like, wow, lackluster content again. Like, they've, everyone's been fighting the same enemies for the past decade now, all right? I think we can move past the two enemies that we have in the game. I think we can get some new ones, finally, please. And so the final shape comes out. Everyone was like, finally, a breath of fresh air in Destiny 2 and everyone enjoyed it. It was also a financial success. And yet, Bungie still needed to lay off at least 220 employees. <laughs> because just because it was an amazing success, reviews and financially, doesn't mean the <laughs> shareholders were happy with only the couple million dollars they made, all right? They also needed to make another couple hundred thousand dollars on the back end by just firing employees. So obviously, the way that they fired these employees wasn't, you know, the run in the mill. Hey, you're fired. Here's your severance package. We feel sorry. All right, we feel bad. Here's your money. No, it was, yo, I'm gonna just tweet this out. And if you're locked out of your account, mm, well, at least you don't have to wonder who's fired anymore if you can log in. And so Twitter was on fire with uh, Bungie employees saying that, hey, I learned that I got fired today from Twitter. <laughs> Amazing. And so, you know, they all went on their spill about how they're looking for jobs as, you know, you need to. And they obviously deserve jobs because the way they got fired wasn't because of their own faults. It was because the company decided they made not enough money, even though they made more than enough money to keep them on. So after everyone at Bungie got fired and, you know, they went on Twitter and they went on their whole spill about how they did this and how, you know, they literally did nothing wrong. Someone found that uh, Pete Parson was on a bidding site, bidding and buying various rare cars, well, vintage rare cars. For the past two years, Pete Parson essentially has been amassing over $2.4 million worth of vintage cars for what? I, I don't know because in my opinion, I understand why people have car collections when they actually drive the cars. But having a garage full of dusty cars that never get driven is the same as just sticking a poster on your wall. Like you're not doing anything with it. Like you're still dreaming about it. You're not actually, you know, living the dream of driving the car. Now, technically all this started way before, you know, the layoffs of this year, but also Pete Parson really shouldn't be able to just buy 2.4 million dollars worth of cars in general whenever your company is doing this badly because not only is it a bad look that your literal ceo is just blowing through money that he literally hasn't earned seeing that the company's not doing good financially had to get bailed out again by a company that you wanted to be independent from right like he should have had a some kind of a pay cut and so he's like all right this money is allocated towards actually growing the company pete don't touch it 
and somehow Pete still gets to put his hand in the cookie jar and nothing happens to him, but you know, 200 employees, the same amount of people that probably could have been paid from the $2.4 million he wasted on, you know, cars he'll never drive in his life, had to, you know, get laid off because Pete couldn't keep his hand out of the cookie jar. He really needed those cards instead of, you know, paying his employees. And one of the worst uh, stories from the employees is a pregnant woman who literally the next Monday was gonna go on maternity leave and get all of her benefits, you know, for becoming a mother while working at Bungie. But instead of her being able to have a nice, relaxing maternity leave, now she gets a forever maternity leave. <laughs> Full of stress because she doesn't get to come back to her job because they decided either we could give her her benefits or we could save some money. And they said, since you probably wasn't even going to work for the next month or three, um, you can take the rest of your life off of the bungee, all right? Go ahead and go find something else to do. <laughs> like, this is actual villainous behavior. Now, I enjoy Destiny from time to time. I haven't played the final shape at all, but from what everyone's been saying, you know, it's a decent one. It's really good. They did good on this one. There's some cool new mechanics and stuff. And I was actually thinking about picking up the final shape. But now I'm like, I kind of don't know if I want to support Bungie. If they're just going to keep, you know, <laughs> firing employees. Even after we all are like, hey, yo, whoever these employees are, they need to stay on. These guys are doing really good. And then they fire the really good employees. And then, you know, bring on cheaper employees. Because that's what they're going to do. Like, all these people probably had, like, salaries that were bigger than what they actually wanted to pay. So they said, instead of us keeping on these employees and hiring new ones at a smaller rate how about we fire the good employees doing the good work hire one employees that are going to be frustrated that they're not making enough money that they're being overworked and that they are just going to put out slop because that's what you're going to get next dlc it's just going to be another slop fest and we're going to be like wow this dlc sucks then those people who got hired on for a cheap rate are going to get fired then they're going to hire actual employees again worth actual amounts of money they're gonna bring you a really great dlc and then they're gonna be like well pd wants a new mansion in malibu so we're gonna have to let everyone that did an amazing job on this brand new dlc the best dlc we ever had we're gonna have to let you guys go instead of us telling our executive that makes you know 30 times your salary to you know, maybe maybe invest a little bit. Within the next two years of your investment, you'll be able to afford that new mansion. No, he wants it now. So, everyone, you guys are going to have to go. We're going to have to make a crappy DLC to hopefully, you know, rake in a little bit of money before people realize, oh, wait, they're just doing a rinse and repeat. They're going to give us a trash DLC, fire those people, bring on real people whenever they actually make a little bit more money. They're going to make a good deal scene. They're going to fire those people. And then they're going to bring all the trash people again. Because it seems like that's basically the Destiny formula at this point. Because I've been noticing that they make good DLC, bad DLC, bad DLC, good DLC, bad DLC. Like, they have a formula for this. <laughs> and I've been noticing it for a while. Like, every time everyone's like, well, this is it for Destiny. They always bring out some good shit. But it's always right there at the edge whenever they're finally hiring people that actually want to work in the industry and that are actually paid decently well. Unlike Wings of Redemption, because this man is getting frustrated with the Low Cow Live podcast. Boys, click this video right here to find out why Wings of Redemption hates this podcast now. But other than that, don't forget to like, comment, and I'll see you all tomorrow.